I am Ejecta One, and welcome to another episode inside of my survival world. And today is a very special episode, because as you may know, you might have read from the title, we have hit 500 subscribers. That is right, 500 subs. It has taken me 8 months of grueling hard work and lots of mining and lots of blocks and lots of sheep and lots of all other sorts of things and all sorts of stuff. But you know what? We made it. We made it. Me and you. We made it. Isn't it great? Okay. Anyways. So, we have the 500 subs. Which is really good. And, uh, yeah. It took me a while. But we got there. And, uh, I'm very excited. And, okay. Anyways. So, this video is going to be about... I don't know why I'm talking so fast. Whew. Slow down, eject. Calm down. I know we're there. But calm down. Okay. So anyways, we have something we... But since it's 500 subs, we get to do something kind of special. Before we get into the rest of it, you might notice that there's this entire... Now, you might notice that from the past couple of videos that um, this hill is completely flat. Or in between episodes that this, er this hill is completely flat. Like, there used to be a hill here. Where is that hill? That is because I've been tearing this out on stream... And that's because I am now a Twitch streamer. And if you have a Twitch, or if you want to go follow me on there, uh, it's the same exact, it's the same exact uh, username, Ejecta One. It's all over the place. And so yeah, you can catch things like this. We and I am currently working on this, and in the future I'll be working on that, where I'll be flattening that area. And we and I have cat, I have collected a bunch of materials, all sorts of stuff, which is absolutely insane. And actually, I think there's... Okay, there's nothing I need here. But, there's a lot of stuff here. So, yeah, definitely come by on the streams if you have time, or if you can. But, if you can't, there will be... I do have a second channel I am launching. Yes, this is an announcement video as well. That I am launching a second channel. It has already started. Um, there's no videos yet. Um, the videos are going to basically be just... Now, it's going to be, uh, it's not going to be so much Minecraft stuff. So, basically, I'm going to upload to my second channel because I don't want to infect this channel. Uh, this channel is not going anywhere. I'm not changing it, none of that. Uh, I just want this to be more focused on Minecraft and focused on the Let's, well, not just the Let's Play, but uh, there will be other stuff on this channel soon. Or, well, maybe not soon, but there will be other stuff in the future. But this will be mainly Minecraft and my adventures in Minecraft. Uh, I'm Eject, not X. Don't get it confused. Don't get it confused. I know you want to. No. Don't do it. I'm eject. Your favorite blue guy. Now, one thing I do need, absolutely important, is I need you. And you look like you're ready to go for a run. You ready? Hey, Ray Horse. You're a very popular horse, you know that? Pretty popular. Alright, so we'll do that. Out. Okay, you stay here. I'm going to make sure I have everything. I know I'm kind of running around frantic. Like, I haven't planned this. I kind of have planned this video. But the nature of my videos is I don't plan them for some reason. I probably should, though. What's going on, guys? So, in the so while we're going on a little trip with this horse to the old area, and it's not a very pleasant thing without a lead. I should have grabbed one. But anyways, I figured on our way over there, I might as well talk about a few things. And this came from a person in my Discord, and they asked for some tips on, you know, how I got this far and stuff. And I figured instead of answering them there, I might as well make a video about that idea, or I might as well make, I might as well include it in the video. So what, so I would say one of the first things that I would, so I guess we'll go through a few tips that I uh, can give out. I am actually working on an article uh, based on this. So if you guys are interested, I will probably leave that linked in my f Twitter when that goes live. But uh, yeah, so one of the first things I'll talk about is so the number one. Th so I guess the number one thing I could suggest is testing. You have to be able, you have to be testing different ideas, different concepts, different scripts, different video structures. Uh, everything under sun has to be tested. Different equipment. Because if you don't test things, you're never going to get better. But you're also not going to know whether something works or not. And 
I would say for me, that's got to be my number one asset in my videos is because you might see my videos are all over the place. So they follow my video. You know, my video style isn't very consistent. I would say it's all a bunch of different ideas and you know, like some are edited, some are just 20 minute long playthroughs, but they're testing, they're testing different ideas. I'm testing constantly, you know, different titles, different thumbnails, um, different ways to approach the video. Like even this one I'm doing right here, like where I'm doing a, where I'm having a montage of a horse and while I'm just talking over that, while I'm talking over that and well, it's not a montage, it's a thing, but you know, it's a long video, but Anyways, this is a test. I've never done this before, and I don't know how well it's going to go, but I'm going to try. And yeah, but you got to test things. You got to, because, and you can watch a video. You can watch what someone says. You can listen to podcasts, all these things. You could do research all you want. But the thing is with research is, and I would say definitely do research, but you're not going to know if what that person says or does is going to work for you. Like, I could sit here and suggest something to you. And, but that doesn't guarantee that what it, that what I do will work for you. But I will say that the one piece, because testing doesn't get talked about enough by other YouTubers or anyone that is giving those advice, like anyone that's actually giving that advice will never tell you like, Oh, go test things. They'll give you ideas and solutions. They'll never say, Oh, go test this thing. Go test this, go try this out. Um, and I think it's a very underrated thing in the, uh, YouTube yours helping thing community is the testing thing and so that'd be my number one piece of advice uh the next thing would be upload consistency so with upload consistency and i will tell you this through a story so back in early february i hit 100 subscribers and then in and then a week later i hit 200 subscribers some of you might remember that and then the day after i was going to upload the 200 subscriber special the video that the video is going to get uploaded, well, some problems are going off vidIQ, which is my which is a video overlay for YouTube, and it just it has so many tools for YouTube. I do rec I highly recommend it, and you should get it. Uh, but they decided to either glitch or have an experiment or something went wrong with it, and so I wound up uploading an hour late, and that messed up my consistency amongst YouTube, and that really messed me up. So I would say be consistent. You have to upload consistently at a very consistent basis. Uh, that is, you know, that is that go, you know, that's a really big thing. The last thing I would say is now for me, when I do videos, my number one goal is to try and get into the recommended. Uh, it, it's, it goes back to the testing, but I would say it's to go in is to try and get into the um, recommendations or people's recommendeds, because I would say, I would say most of my traffic for videos comes from the YouTube recommended page. So I would say like, try to get your videos into people's recommendeds. And that might mean you have to try different things, do different things. Again, that goes to testing. I keep referring back to that, but I would say you you know, you want to test to try and get into recommendeds because that's how majority of traffic is going to find you. And the better, because the more you get into recommended or the recommendations, the more likely people are going to click your video and check you out. Um, and I could say that a lot of my videos that have blown up have gotten big because of, yeah, because of they got into the recommended. So I would say that should be probably your number one goal is to get that, especially as an early YouTuber. If you can get your videos into the YouTube recommended, that would be your biggest thing. So I would say that. So I would say that that would be my advice and hopefully you guys found this helpful and now let's get back to the video. Okay, so I've just uh, gotten back and there's the house and all the things we haven't seen in quite a while. Man, we need to work on the wheat fields. I have not been here so long. But uh, yeah, so I, so I did take a few uh, sugar cane from over there and that's going to mix with the gunpowder and, and you probably can guess what that's going to be all about. But anyways, um, we do have uh, this, and this is my museum entrance, which is but which is my good buddy Butters the Sheep, uh, who is lost in the void, sadly, and I need to get him back at some point. But that's a problem for another day. Maybe he'll be with us for the uh, thousand subscribers. But we need to get to the museum. So now you might think it's up there, 
But as longtime viewers have known, the way to get to the museum is in Butter's butt. And so what we're going to do is drop down here. Geronimo. And we come into da, 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 the museum. And the museum is absolutely... And the museum is absolutely empty. Oh, there's some stuff here. And you can see I have made a 100 sub monument. Uh, that's... Yeah, I haven't been here in so long. So it's kind of been... Yeah, this has been quite a while since I've actually been here. So it is kind of incomplete. But I did stop mid-project to go work on the city. So it is kind of nice. So it's pretty nice to be back. I am going to go put my bed... I did have my spawn set up, but I'm going to set it up here because it's more, it's closer. So now what we're going to do is first thing I need to do is I actually need to expand this out and I need to make room for at least one of these rooms. So let's see, that was back in May. So it took me about what, three months to get to that. So yeah, let me go ahead and dig all this out guys. Um, I'm not going to make it sit through this. Now my thinking is I want to create some kind of like miniature city kind of scape. What I want to do is I want to take the cobble deep slate and I want to use it to sort of create, I want to create like a model city sort of in a sort of way. So something where it's like, uh, yeah, I want to create some kind of model city kind of style. So something where it's sort of like a model train thing or model diorama of the city it won't be the actual city definitely won't be but it'll sort of give the impression of what it's supposed to be so i did go ahead and get the walls pushed up by a couple blocks i just think that might work for our little city idea here because i think that's what was holding it back so let's try this again because this now the cobble deep slate represents the roads so let's do this i don't really like this building at least not here Now what we'll do is we'll bring this up there, same exact idea. But if we take two, four, and then six. And then we go right here like this. And hopefully it kind of creates the illusion of that. So it kind of gives, it kind of makes it look like it's the uh, really tall building. Okay, so I did go ahead and play around this uh, city and or this little area and i did manage to build this little diorama city and uh just because it, i want to represent uh like it's not the exact city building this the buildings that we'll have in the city but it represents that you know we're in a savannah biome so a lot of you know a lot of acacia wood is used here and uh i want to i want to illustrate the point that uh the area that we're building in when we reach 500 subscribers because we are here now that we hit that uh that were in a city what am i saying words i swear i'm saying words i swear i promise i am okay now what we get to do is we get to take this up and i want to try something i don't know if it'll work with this but we're gonna try so we're gonna put the five here first thing you make an pretty much an S so my plan is to represent the 500 by putting well the 500 into the floor I know it's gonna be sideways but this is the only way I could think to fit it so hopefully this will work and then we'll actually make it so it's gonna be a little bit scuffed here though but I think we'll make this work So now we'll do this. All right, now we need to go like this. All right, so now we have that. Let's put, let's get rid of these. All right, now to fill this in, I'm probably gonna go ahead and just use uh, Acacia. Ooh, let's use this to get rid of, oh, actually, I could use acacia logs, could I? I think. Let's try it. Um, we'll have it go this way. Let's place these in first.
I need to eat in the game. Okay, now we're going to take this and strip it. Just add a little bit of different design or different texture. All right, now it might be a little subtle. It might be a little hard to read, but because you won't see it unless it's there, but it's there. Now, let's see. I want to do this a little differently. For one, I need to get rid of that because that's ugly being right there. I don't think diorite's ugly. I just think that right there is ugly. All right. Now we have that. So the next thing I want to do, I want to change this up a little bit, actually. I think what we'll do is we'll actually take the last of this and we'll actually do... We'll take the last of it and we'll actually go above... No, actually, we're going to take slabs. Just because slabs provide a little more space without taking too much away. We'll put that there. We'll put this here and this here. Or we can actually readjust these so they're right here. Get rid of that. And then we'll take this out. Which gives me my sign back. Only for me to take the sign and put it right back here. And we'll put 500 subscribers. And we got that achievement on... I know the num I know the numbers. Uh, 8, 20, 20, 24. Okay, so now we have that. And let me eat really quick before I starve to death. And this is definitely an improvement from the uh, one we had before, from uh, this that we had before. I think it's a welcome change. I think one thing I'll change as well. Maybe it's spruce up just a little bit more. Take out these sides. Take this out. Take that out. And I'll actually put in this just to make it a little bit fancy. If I'm allowed to do that. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. That looks a lot more detailed. I am really happy with that. I can't do much to the sides just because they're the next rooms over. And one thing could affect infect another and I don't want to do that. But I think this definitely looks like a really good room. Um, the cobblestone and the stone are not that great, I guess. But I like it. And also I got to get a video out. So but yeah, I do like this uh, area. And I do like that we got the 500 subscriber thing. And that it's built into the floor. I like this. It's a very unique design. And uh, let's see. Anything else I want to add? Um, not that I could think of. But let's see. That would be about it for this area. Um, let me take this stupid torch out. It's got enough lighting in here. We shouldn't see any mobs. All right. I'm quite happy with that. So now that we have that room finished, I think the next step is actually we want to go celebrate this. And I think the best way to celebrate that is actually we're going to take this. And I need to make paper. And then I need to take gunpowder. I think this is how that we, you do it, right? Hold on. Uh, we need that. Okay, so we have that. Now let's see. Can we take... Oh. I just made all that. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We can still celebrate. Now I think the only way to celebrate is with some fireworks. Let's see. That was anticlimactic. Let's, um, I gotta have some stuff somewhere. Let me see. I've killed enough creepers, I think. Okay, let's celebrate in here. Set my respawn. Okay, so yeah, let's celebrate in this room, because I think it's very fitting. But anyways, guys, uh, as I was saying before, if you did like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It does mean a lot to me, and it really does help out the channel, and then that's how we got to where we're at right now. And I really want to see you guys in the future. I want to see, let's hit 1,000, let's hit 2,000, let's hit 3,000, let's hit a million subscribers. Why don't we? Yeah, let's do it. I don't know. It'll take a while, but we'll get there. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Well, actually, no, we got to celebrate. Yeah. That's what we came here to do. Woo! 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 
Okay, that was fun. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope I inspire. You. And also, I know I tell you, I inspire. I hope I inspire you guys to build your own stuff. I hope I inspire you guys to start your own YouTube channels or your own Minecraft worlds, and go have some fun. Go, you know. I hope I. I really hope I inspire you guys to go start your own YouTube channels and go have, you know, go have your own fun and go build something cool or. You know, start your own YouTube channel. You know, anyone could do it. You know, I, I'm just a reg I'm just your regular average guy. You know, I'm I'm not anyone special except you know what's above my head. But anyone can get those numbers. Um, if you really put your mind to it, if you put your if you put your best foot forward, um, you can achieve anything you want to. You know, and that goes out to all my uh, smaller content creators. I know you guys ask me a lot of. I know you guys ask me a lot of. Uh, you know, ask me for some advice about how to make it this big or how to get big this fast. And that'd be my advice. Just, just start, just, you know, just put yourself, you know, put your best foot forward and do, you know, give your best effort. And, you know, eventually you can work, you know, it doesn't have to be the best in the world. It just give it your best and eventually you'll find your way. And, uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, just don't give up. Just keep going. Just keep making videos. And, you know, that's what I, that's what I'm doing. And that's how I got to where I'm at. And, yeah, I'm no big sub I'm no big YouTuber. I mean, I keep saying that with this sign above my head. That's kind of hypocritical. <laughs> that's kind of hypocritical, but it's it's. I think it's fun. I I again, I think you know if you put in the hard work, if you you know upload as much as you can, and you really try to make things work and make things look good, and you know make it you know and just makes things and try to make videos that uh, I think Etho. I think Ethos Lab said it best. Um, uh, try to make you know when you make videos, uh, try to make videos that uh, people want to watch and upload and see if people like it. And if they do, then you got a hit. And if not, it's you know you just get up and try again. That's all it is. It's trial and error. But you can but you can do and to quote another person, it's like Eminem said, uh, you can do anything you put your mind to. So so yeah. Anyways, guys, I think that's enough rambling on. I got some editing to do, and uh, yeah, I want to get this video, guys. I want to I want to get this video out to you guys. I keep stumbling over my words. Ah, not enough words to say in a 500 subs so special. But uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button because that's how we got here, and because I want to make this a thousand subs, and two thousand, and three thousand, four thousand, and all that. But anyways, guys, that is all from me. Have a wonderful day. I am Eject1. And until next time, you have been ejected. <laughs>